there's a finding from 1982 that flips your entire understanding of reality and yourself upside down. David Bohm, a physicist who collaborated with Einstein, uncovered something that defies common sense. The world you're living in right now, the screen you're staring at, the walls around you, even your own hands, isn't what it appears to be. It's not solid. It's not primary. It's a projection. A hologram generated from a deeper layer of reality your senses can't access. And here's the mind-shattering part. You're not the audience watching this show. You're the field creating it. Think about a hologram. From a distance it looks three-dimensional, tangible, real. But reach out and there's nothing. Just empty space. The image isn't the object. It's light patterns decoded from a flat surface into the illusion of depth. Bohm realized the entire universe operates like this. Everything you experience, matter, time, space, even your thoughts, is what he called the explicate order, the unfolded, visible projection. But behind it lies the implicate order, a hidden, unified field where everything truly originates. And this hidden layer plays by entirely different rules. Distance, meaningless, time, not a barrier, separation between you and others. That's just a feature of the hologram, not the source. At the deepest level, everything is one, not poetically, but physically. Bohm proved this through something he named the quantum potential, an invisible field where every thought, emotion, memory, and future possibility already exists, folded into wholeness, constantly unfolding into your lived reality. Most people hear this and shrug it off as abstract theory, but what if it's the key to why some people transform overnight, while others stay stuck for decades? What if the difference isn't discipline, trauma severity, or effort, but whether someone learned to work with the source field instead of just tweaking the projection? This isn't for those wanting quick fixes or feel-good affirmations. You've already tried those, the visualizations, the mantras, the just think positive advice, and it didn't work, not the way they promised, because deep down you carry something heavier than pain. You feel broken at the core, like your childhood didn't just wound you, it shattered something essential. Your trust, your joy, your sense of safety. You've done the work, therapy, meditation, shadow integration, plant medicine, and gotten temporary relief. But then you hit a wall. You understand your patterns, but can't change them. Worse, you watch others heal. They post breakthroughs online, talk about forgiveness and freedom, and you wonder, What's wrong with me? Am I too damaged? Is my pain beyond repair? And beneath all that, there's a quiet terror of hope. Because hope got crushed when you were young. Every time you dared to believe change was possible and it didn't happen, it chipped away at your resilience. So now you stay curious, but guarded. You study quantum physics and consciousness, yet keep a mental distance. This sounds powerful, but it won't work for someone like me. I know that voice. I've lived in that space too, not your story, but that feeling of being irreversibly fractured, watching others live in a world that didn't betray them at their foundation. But here's what Bohm revealed, and this isn't spiritual bypassing. You were never broken, not after healing, not because you're strong, never. At the level of the implicate order, the quantum ground of all being, Wholeness is indestructible. Your pain was real. Your trauma mattered. But your essence, it couldn't be damaged. Bohm proved this with a simple experiment. He placed a drop of ink into a cylinder of clear glycerin. When he turned the cylinder slowly, the ink stretched, thinned and vanished, seemingly destroyed. But when he reversed the rotation, the ink reformed. Exact shape, exact position, as if it had never disappeared. The order wasn't lost. It was folded, hidden, but intact. That's you, your innocence, your joy, your capacity for trust. They didn't vanish in childhood. They unfolded into the implicate order. They're still there, not as memories, not as potential, as present reality, waiting to unfold again. Bohm showed that at the quantum level, 
Nothing is ever truly lost. Particles don't disappear. They retreat into the field and can return. You are not your trauma. You are a totality, enfolded across all of space and time. The broken you isn't a fixed identity. It's just a recurring pattern of unfoldment. And patterns can shift, not by fixing pieces, but by allowing a different pattern, wholeness, to emerge from what's always been whole. Remember those moments as a child, pure laughter, sunlight on your skin, effortless presence. That wasn't a lost version of you. That was wholeness unfolding, and it's still accessible now from the implicate field. So the real question isn't, how do I fix myself? It's, how do I let wholeness unfold again? You don't need to resolve every cause. You just need to shift one point in the pattern and the entire hologram transforms. I know what you're thinking. Infinite causes? That sounds impossible. But you're not meant to control them. You're meant to work with the quantum potential, the invisible field Bohm discovered that connects everything, everywhere, all at once. Unlike gravity or magnetism, this field doesn't fade with distance. It's equally strong here, there and everywhere. Your thoughts aren't just brain noise, your emotions aren't private. They ripple through this field, shaping the very fabric of your reality. That's why forced positivity fails. But genuine inner coherence creates real change. You can't manipulate the projection. You must transform the source. Let me be clear, your trauma was real. The abuse happened, the neglect cut deep. The explicate order, the world you live in, is real. But it's not the final truth. It's not permanent, and it's not who you are. You're not a broken image trying to fix itself. You're the field generating the image. And in that source, wholeness has never left. Now I know another thought is rising. If I'm the source, did I create my own trauma? Am I to blame? No. The child you were didn't manifest pain from some enlightened choice. You were a participant in a reality shaped by infinite causes, ancestral pain, cultural patterns, cosmic conditions, none of which reflected your worth. But here's the key insight. While you didn't create the past, your awareness now participates in what unfolds next. In quantum physics, particles exist as possibilities until observed. Then one actualizes. Bohm went further. The observer doesn't make reality. They select which part of the implicate order becomes visible like choosing a channel from a holographic broadcast. And here's the mind-bending truth. The you doing the observing isn't inside your head. Your brain is part of the projection. True awareness, the silent witness reading these words, exists at the level of the implicate order. It's not in you, it is you. And from there, it generates both your inner world and outer reality as one seamless expression. That's why changing jobs or partners without inner transformation fails. You're still tuned to the same frequency, unworthiness, fear, abandonment, so the same patterns replay, just with new faces. Real change begins when you stop trying to control the outside and start aligning with the source. Even more, the quantum potential connects not just space, but time. Past, present and future all exist now in the implicate field. Your childhood isn't behind you. It's still active, shaping your present through unresolved coherence. But you don't need to fix the past. You need to shift your relationship to it. Let the pain unfold, not to stay there, but to release the resistance that's locking it in place. Take repeating relationship patterns. Psychology calls it attachment. Bohm would say it's coherence. You're still tuned to a frequency shaped by early wounds. No matter who you date, the same dynamic emerges because the source pattern hasn't changed. The shift doesn't come from choosing better people. It comes from feeling the buried terror, grief, or shame fully so your coherence changes. Then without effort, a new pattern unfolds. This isn't about positive thinking. It's about tuning. Imagine a radio. Countless stations broadcast through you right now. Music, silence, chaos. 
but you only hear the one you're tuned to. Your nervous system, beliefs and emotions are that dial. Trauma didn't just hurt you, it retuned you to frequencies of danger, shame or isolation. It kept you alive, but now it keeps you stuck. Therapy, EMDR, shadow work, they help. But they often stay in the explicate layer, rearranging the projection. True freedom comes when you shift your coherence at the source. And how? Not through technique, not through more doing, but through feeling what you've avoided. Let the suppressed wave rise, fully, briefly, and pass. Not to drown in it, but to complete it. Resistance locks patterns, surrender releases them. When you stop fighting the unfoldment, the field reorganizes itself, not by force, by flow. And this is just one doorway. In my book, Beyond the Frequencies, A Quantum Guide to Consciousness Mastery, I map the full system, how to move from unconscious reaction to conscious creation, how the nine master frequencies shape reality, and how to shift from manifesting outcomes to embodying wholeness. The links in the pinned comment. Remember, in the implicate order, your joy and pain, your innocence and shame, all exist together, not as contradictions, but as one whole. You've survived by keeping the pain hidden, but Bohm showed us, what you resist, you reinforce. What you allow to unfold fully, briefly, can then refold in a new shape. Healing isn't about fixing. It's about letting the deeper order express itself through you. Your inner and outer worlds aren't separate. They're two views of the same source. When you shift your coherence inside, you alter the active information in the quantum potential and that changes what unfolds outside. Not by magic, not instantly, but genuinely, measurably, scientifically. This is what be the change really means. You can't control the projection, but you can shift what you're tuned to and that reshapes reality from the root. Now here's where ancient wisdom and quantum physics converge. Every true spiritual path Buddhism, Sufism, Taoism, Christian mysticism points to the same truth. Your real nature isn't your thoughts, your pain, or your story. It's awareness itself, the silent witness behind it all. Bohm gave this a scientific name, the implicate order. You're not the hologram, you're the field generating it. Every effective spiritual practice, meditation, prayer, inquiry, isn't about silencing the mind. It's about recognizing you're not the mind. You're the space where thoughts arise, the stillness beneath emotion. When that clicks, not as an idea, but as direct experience, you stop being ruled by your patterns. Not because they vanish, but because you see they're not you. That insight alone shifts your coherence. Bomb even suggested a super implicate order a deeper layer where consciousness is primary and matter, time, even your brain, are projections from awareness. This flips everything. You're not a brain that creates consciousness. You're consciousness expressing as a brain, as a life, as this very moment, this very... So your journey isn't about becoming whole. It's about remembering you already are, and that brokenness is just a temporary lens through which wholeness is exploring itself. But don't mistake this for denial. Your pain is real, at the level of the projection. It cuts deep. It shaped your nervous system. But it's not ultimate, it's a pattern, folded from a deeper field. That's why spiritual bypassing fails. Pretending pain doesn't matter just locks it in place. True healing means feeling it fully while knowing you're the field it moves through. Hold both truths. The trauma happened, and you are not the trauma. The pain is real, and you are not the pain. You feel broken, and you were never broken. This is Bohm's undivided wholeness, not perfection, but the full spectrum of existence unfolding as one seamless flow. And yes, you didn't cause your childhood wounds. Infinite causes shaped them. But now you have real agency, not over others, not over the past, but over your coherence. 
over which frequency you broadcast into the quantum field, you're not a victim of the hologram. You're its source. The wholeness you seek, your innocence, joy, trust, it never left. It's still unfolded in the implicate order, waiting for your coherence to shift so it can reappear. Not because you fixed yourself, but because you stopped interfering with what was already whole. So the work isn't repair, it's recognition. Feel what's been hidden. Let the wave pass. Shift your relationship to what is. That's the science. That's what Bohm proved. Nothing is ever truly lost. Reality is a projection. You participate in what unfolds, and you always were the source. If this resonated, if you felt that quiet yes inside, comment below, I am the source field. Let's anchor this truth together. But wait, there's one final piece most miss. Bohm's work inspired neuroscientist Carl Pribram, who discovered your brain isn't generating reality, it's decoding it, like a holographic lens, and that changes everything about how you access the implicate order, why some people shift effortlessly, while others stay trapped in the projection. That's what we explore next. If you feel that pull, if you're ready to go deeper, subscribe not just to this channel, but to this frequency, this is where science meets lived truth. Where most spiritual content stops, we begin. You are the projection and the projector, the wave and the ocean, the unfoldment and the field. You always were. In the next video, how to maximize your vibration so reality bends before you. Ah. Reveal how to sustain the exact frequency where the quantum field must respond. Not a temporary boost, but becoming the frequency itself. Because when you do, reality has no choice but to reorganize around who you truly are.